Hey guys, I'm Ayo from Best Buy. So, do you want to step up your game capturing amazing classic portraits? Well, I'm about to show you how. I love taking classic portraits. If you do them the right way, they're some of the most iconic images you can make. So first, let's talk about the gear we'll be using today. For this shoot, I've got the Olympus EM-1 Mark II paired with a fast mid-range zoom lens, the 12 to 40 millimeter f2.8. Now this combo is great for portraits because it's fast enough to give you the depth of field you want and versatile enough to capture different kinds of portrait at different focal lengths. Plus the EM-1 Mark II is a great camera that combines tremendous image quality, functionality, and features into an affordable compact package. Now check the links below this video for lenses that we recommend for each camera system. So I'm super excited to be here in San Diego with an amazing portrait photographer, Sarah France. Hi. Hey. So today we're gonna go into three things. We're gonna go into lighting and background. I'm gonna show you what to do with these soft boxes that create really soft, beautiful light and our neutral background for classic portraits. We're also gonna go into posing with our model and show you how to do some posing there. And then lastly, we're gonna focus on focal length. We have a zoom lens and I wanna show you how to create a variety of portraits with one lens. So the first thing that we want to do is adjust these lights to make sure they're exactly what we want. I'm going to bring this up just a little bit, just so it catches a little bit higher in her eyes. So we've got this hair light without any diffusion on it because we want it as intense as possible. So we went ahead and left that without any softbox on it. And that is really getting this beautiful glow back here on the back of her head and giving her some separation from the background. There's three lights set up and that's a perfect situation here. So the next thing that we want to set up is the settings on the camera. We're going to start with aperture priority in this situation as well. The next thing that we want to set is our aperture. So we're going to set that to 2.8. So we have a really shallow depth of field and we can get some nice bokeh and separation from the background with that as well. And then we're also going to set the ISO. Since we have this continuous light in here, you can determine what kind of ISO that you need based on how much light you've decided to use in the scenario. In this case, I think we're gonna be set at around 800 ISO. And you know, ISO allows for the camera to be more sensitive to light. And in cameras like this mirrorless EM-1 Mark II that have a large sensor, you're still able to get great image quality at higher ISO. So let's go ahead and take a couple pictures. And I wanna really focus on her eyes, so let's do a little bit of posing with her. So I want you to bring your chin down so that your eyes are kind of the first thing that's gonna meet the camera. Ooh, yes. And then maybe just a little bit of a hand up and you can kind of turn in just a tad. We're starting at 14 millimeters with this lens. I want to get some space around her. We're doing a lot to give her some negative space for text or different things that she might need in her portraits. With the 14 millimeter, that works out really well. And then we can go and zoom all the way to 40 millimeters and really get some of those tighter, more portrait feeling shots. You can hit play on the back of the camera and then you can see the image and zoom into the eye and really make sure we got that focus. How's it look? It looks great. Awesome. Nice, ooh, I love it. Can you do a little giggle for us? <laughs> <laughs> so cute. And it's great to have that flexibility and focal length when you're shooting, so you can really be creative. Let's try another one, but I'm gonna turn this light off mm. and we can show the difference of that. So turn your face towards this light here. So now we've got more of a dramatic lighting setup and the definition too. You can see like her jawline comes out a lot. You see a lot more definition kind of in her cheekbones and you see a little bit more of the hair light. I'm gonna bring this light a little bit higher so it comes right above her line of sight here. If I was shooting this with flashes or with strobes, I would have to take a test shot, look at it, make sure it looks good, and then go back and readjust. But with this, I can just shoot, shoot, shoot. And we can even double up on hair light and, and add a little bit extra drama in here. Oh, it's beautiful. And I love to keep her face kind of directed towards the main light. I'm gonna bring in that light just a little bit. Now we've got the 
directional light coming in right on her down this way. So she's got that nice jawline and the darkness kind of underneath her face. And then we've got the hair light kind of filling in the background uh, with the nice soft boxes that make that light so soft and just kind of spill all over. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn these two lights off so we can see what the one light would look like. So we've got one window light here. We don't have anything on the back here, but if you had a reflector, you can always bring that in, different accessories. So you don't really have to have more than one light, which is really great. Absolutely, and the face detection is really, really helping as far as making sure that I stay on track, making sure your eyes stay sharp, and that your features really pop. Oh man, yes. you did so good, that was yes. awesome. You look great, and yes. I think we got the shot. Yeah, we nailed it. <laughs> So there you have it, some great tips to take your classic portraits to the next level. And remember, think about your lighting, vary your poses, and use multiple focal lengths. And thanks to Sarah for all the great tips. Now for more photo tips and tricks, check out the Best Buy YouTube channel or stop by one of our camera experience shops to take an in-person workshop or just to check out the latest and greatest gear. And to find a camera experience shop near you or to learn more about the gear you saw here today, check out the links in the description below. Well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.